Here's a piano tutorial for Portrait 19 by the Paper Kites. Here's what it sounds like. So this song mostly takes place in D major, so you only have to worry about a C and an F sharp. It'll switch to a G major key at one point, uh, and then you'll just drop the, the C sharp and continue with the F sharp. So the whole song is built around this repeating D note. That keeps the beat. Um, and this is middle C for reference. The other hand will play like an assortment of different riffs while the D is, keeps repeating. Um, the first one starts on low A. You're going to play A, B, D, E, A, B. And then another one is F sharp, G. You repeat each of those uh, a couple of times for the first three minutes. When at one point uh, they just play an A, just like that. So how the two hands go together is like. point in those first three minutes there's a guitar riff that looks like this and you don't have to double um, across the octave I'm playing both notes with my thumb and pinky you could just play and what that is uh, that's an F sharp an A an E, a D, D, E, G, D, C. You don't even have to play this low D because your left hand is going to be repeating the... and they hit at the same time. So you only really hear it if you're doubling across the octave. You go like this. It, so together it looks like this. That's the first three minutes. Um, half of it is spent 
with your right hand, replaying the repeated D. The other half is spent with your left hand, replaying the, re replaying the repeated D. You only switch to the left hand when you get to the guitar part. And then at the 306 mark, it this is when it switches to the G major key. You're just going to hold two D notes across the octave. And it starts on this fun little riff. This is actually the reason I decided to do this song for this part here. Keep hitting the tripod. start with the right hand after you play this on the left hand. You're going to go F sharp, A, E, C natural, A, C, D, C, B, A, F sharp, A, A, F sharp, A, B, and then you're going to play D, and on that second D, this is when you start keeping the beat with your left hand. So after those two Ds, you're going to play C, go up to that high A, D, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, D. C, D, A, A, C, D, A, C, D, C, B, A, F sharp, A, F sharp, E, G, E, G, F sharp, D, C, E, B, a, C, D, C, B, A, F sharp, A, D, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, D, C, D, A, A, C, D, A, C, D, C, B, A, F. And then you can't, I can't really tell what they're doing. I think they're they could either be improvising or they just repeat what you just played starting at the A. You'll see on the sheet music I notated where the repeat goes back to. It's just after your left hand keeps repeating. So how those two hands go together, I'll try to play it a bit slower. See, I play the, uh, instead of just playing the thumb D, I go down with the, uh, the pinky D every once in a while. You'll see where I notate it on the sheet music. It's about every second or third bar. And then I just hold it and I just continue with the other one. 
it just sort of maintains a, a bass sound throughout. So you keep improvising, I guess, or repeating that same riff uh, until you get to the 407 mark. Uh, and then you'll you're gonna want to switch to your right hand to play that repeating D. And all that is is D, A, C, and it goes together like that. Sorry, I have to like reach around my tripod kind of awkwardly. outro, you switch back to your the last line of the song, switch back to your left hand on the repeating D, and you play just an F sharp with uh, the right hand, and it goes like this. That's it. So how those last two riffs go together is... I think they play it like twice or three times. And then the very last line. And you just hold the D and the F sharp. So that's the whole song. It's just a assortment of different random riffs, all built around a repeating D note. I separated each riff with a repeating bar line uh, on the sheet music. You'll, it'll make a lot more sense, I think, once you see it on paper. I think you mostly just have to listen to the song and get an idea of what goes where and how many times each thing is played. But I think the sheet music will really help you. I hope this video helped. Oh, and I am holding the, the sustain pedal throughout. and. Just whatever sounds alright. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.